when my wife and I moved into our house last summer, we had four of these stumps lining the fence in my front yard, and I took it upon myself to remove them. This is the last of the stumps, and it's about 12 inches in diameter at the trunk. I start by using a spade to dig a ring around the base of the trunk, exposing as many roots as possible. What I learned from removing the previous stumps is that the more roots I can expose before starting to chop, the better. So I spend a little bit of time digging with a hand shovel. This is what it looks like after about 30 minutes of digging. I can now start chopping through the roots, and I'm intentionally making my cuts as far away from the base as possible. The reason I'm going through all this effort, as opposed to renting a stump grinder or paying somebody to come out and remove these stumps, is that I know the wood is dry, and I plan on hanging onto these until someday I can make something from them. If you have any suggestions on what I should make with these stumps, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm an hour in at this point, and I'm able to cut through all the roots that I can see. And I'm now ready to set up my snatch blocks. I'm using a heavy duty strap to attach to the tree and a steel cable for pulling. The snatch block slides around the cable and then I can use a D-ring to attach to the hand winch. And this strap will protect the wood on the stump from getting gouged by the cable. and the winch connects to the strap around the second tree. Taking a look at my setup, I have a single line connected to one tree, going around the snatch block, back towards the winch where I have a second snatch block, finally connects back to the stump. This setup gives me a mechanical advantage, multiplying the force that I get from the hand winch being exerted on the stump. And the way this works, is that any line under tension is going to put equal force in opposite directions. The snatch block will redirect the line back in the direction it came from. Since each line is anchored to the stump and putting out an equal force in each direction, this is now tripling the pulling power that I'm getting from the hand winch. This winch is rated for 4,000 pounds, and I bought it from Harbor Freight. The winch itself also has a snatch block attached to its own line, which should give me an output of 8,000 pounds. I don't think I was getting anything near 8,000 pounds of pulling power. Do keep in mind the rating on your straps as you put your setup together, so the straps on the tree don't end up snapping on you. As you can see from pull number one, I don't get very much movement at all. So I spend some time chopping and digging any more visible roots and pull again. After just the second pull, you can see the stump is already starting to lift up away from the dirt, which gives me an opportunity to easily dig underneath and uncover any more roots I couldn't see before. I uncover this root, which I know is doing a lot to hold this thing in place. The stump is already under tension, and I know as soon as I cut through it, I should get a pop. This pull lifts the stump about another inch off the dirt, and I can get back to it with digging and chopping any other roots I find. And now we're making more progress. I can tell I'm getting near the end here. I readjust the straps to get some upward movement as I pull. After a total of four hours of work, it's loose enough to pull out the rest of the way.
If you like this video, give it a like. And if you'd like to see what I end up making from these stumps, be sure you're subscribed and those projects will be coming up soon.